that result tonight exceeded your expectations? Um, look, it's not so much about the, the, the nil. It's definitely something that we're very happy about. Um, really, really pleased with the whole squad and how they've gone about the last four games, to be honest. Um, you know, there was an expectation that we'd do well tonight and um, the girls have really set up the team the best way they can for the, for the final. As you say, you, you were the favourites. Was there ever any danger that might be a bit of complacency creeping? Oh, not with this group. And I think if you saw at 70 nil, um, the way that the girls defended their line, like we love the the Orchids. Um, we've had a great relationship with them since they got their team off the ground. And, um, you know, there's probably, I think we all sort of, like in the change room, just spoke about how we would have liked to have seen them score, but we're also so um, happy with the performance that there's so much hunger in this team for success that they didn't let them score. So it's a, it's bittersweet. I think the crowd wanted them to, to score. <laughs> yeah. How much are you looking forward now to, to Old Trafford and the occasion that will be? Yeah, look, we, we brought the, the players into camp a couple of years ago. We Googled Old Trafford. We've looked into the history and we understand that, you know, it's not a rugby league ground. Um, but the, to be one of the first um, teams to play rugby league on that it will be a great um, opportunity for our girls and um, something really special to be part of. And like I said, we've been talking about it for a long time. Um, but now we've, we've but all the, the plans come, come into, all the pieces of the puzzle have come into play and um, yeah, we're really looking forward to getting over there. We've got England, New Zealand to come in a few minutes' time. Who do, who do you want in the final? Uh, we're not too concerned, mate. Look, we honestly aren't. If um, you know, New Zealand gave us a really, really hard game the other night and um, it'll be interesting to see how this game goes. You will stay watch it? We'll definitely watch it. <laughs> Ali, Emma, you guys have played for your state. Emma, you've won an Olympic medal, gold medal. Um, you've played in the NRL Grand Finals. How does playing at Old? How do you think playing at Old Trafford is going to be a really, really big crowd there for you guys? How do you think that's going to stack up. You want to go? You go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, we went and watched the boys play the other night to see the atmosphere that's building in those bigger stadiums. It's going to be crazy. Um, Depending who gets through, it's not. There's not too many fans of Australia here, and um, I know whoever we play, they're going to be against us. But um, I think that sets us up more for the win. Yeah, I think if I'm um, fortunate enough to take the field, it's going to be such a great vibe. I've been really impressed with the crowd and the numbers that they've got here, and um, yeah, rugby league is just growing so much, and I'm very excited to be part of such a great World Cup campaign. Right, you touched on the relationship with the Orchids and I know how passionate you are about growing the women's game. What have you made of their performance during this World Cup and their improvements since the last one? Oh, we're so proud like to be part of their journey. Uh, we, you know, we played them back at Suncorp a, a couple of weeks back and how far they've come and the way that they play footy is a credit to everybody involved with them and um, you know those girls aren't just rugby league players they're leaders in social change back in their country and yeah, it's, it's really inspiring to be a part of that. Thank you um, yeah I'm just excited to be on the field and took my opportunity with both hands and um, I think everybody out there was just excited to be on the field and we were really looking forward to getting the job done for the rest of the squad and um, yeah, I thought we were pretty clinical and very proud of that zero in defence. Great, what did you say about everyone? 60 minutes of walk the other night, pull back today. Sort of yeah, no, she's gone alright, eh? Yeah, no, fantastic. Like, a, an absolute... Um, you know, Emma and I didn't know each other before this campaign and it's been an absolute pleasure to have her in any any position. Um, yep, sure, no worries, just tell me what to do. We taught, you know, we, we did some work at Hooker, we did some work at... Um, and it's just so happy to see her get Player of the Match tonight. It's well deserved. The tournament's been excellent and before you ask me, she'll be playing somewhere in the team come the final, so... Um, She'll, she'll definitely be in the 17. Right, speaking of that 17, have you got a healthy squad? Yeah, and that's that's what a credit to every single person. And you guys are going to get sick of me saying that, it, but it, you can't do four-day turnarounds and um, and just play your best team or what you think is the best team. Our best team could be any variation of the 24. And, and I, as sure as um, my bottom points to the ground, I believe that. Mm -hmm. So and that's the that's the clean version. Um, and and look. You know what the girls did tonight. Like, if you look a little bit more intricately at the detail of you know players like Keely Joseph has never played 80 minutes of, or 40 minutes straight before, 
she's never played in the front row. She plays 40 minutes in the front row for a country and busts out like something like 25 runs and, and 25 tackles. So that somebody can be rested and play in the final. So we, I have got great faith in all 24, no matter what combination comes through the medicals tomorrow, that we'll be able to put our best foot forward and, and take this cup back to Australia. The players that won't play in the, um, next week, they obviously you know, did a job probably tonight, like they played here tonight, yeah, 100%. So, like, you know, seven of the players that didn't play will play, and 10 of the 17 that played tonight will play. So, it's, you know, the, the, the seven that miss out, they, they, they did a lot of, you know, they played a lot of minutes out there tonight. And look, the, the connection of this team is something special I haven't seen before. You know, like, we've had some close teams. There's a great um, camaraderie and there's a, a great culture around the Jillaroos jumper, but um, this is honestly one of the best I've seen. Like you mentioned the turnarounds, do they need to be longer looking to 25? Because four days, I know you, you've probably got the luxury of being able to rotate that spot and all the other sides have, but... You're probably asking the wrong bloke, but... You know, these guys here are the ones that have had to play every four days, absolutely. You know, like, we've got fully professional males, um, you know, that have one-week turnarounds. Um, these guys are, are semi-professional. They've, they've got... They will all work jobs and uh, mums, families, all the rest of it, so... Um, I know it's tough because it's more time away from home, but you know, hoping by the time that 2025 runs around that we're, we're much more closer to the professional game for the women.